Hello everyone, welcome back to episode 26 of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. This is Blue Hedgehog Man 17 along with... Scatling True. Now, this is our second attempt of this versus race because... Well, we technically didn't really record anything, but the problem was that I started... It was a, it's a small issue that happened, but it's still an issue nonetheless. The reason this is our th uh, second attempt at recording this is because I actually started a, started us off. I introduced us both. We said our hello to you guys when I, while I was in the wrong place. I was actually at the thieves' hideout when we when I st when we started this episode off when. It was a small issue, like I said. I was supposed to start off here at the horseback archery. This, this is where I am right now. Because this is where I ended off the last episode in attempting to go for the... How do I say it? So, yeah. We both didn't even get a chance to move. It was literally that quick. <sighs> yeah. Oh, okay. Anyway. Alright, so, let's go ahead and do this again. We're gonna start the 30 minute timer in 3, 2, two 1, one. Time starts now. Let's play the horseback archery. Here we go. Right, so, um... Uh, I don't. I don't know what to start with, to be honest, because um, all I can really say is that I'm in Ganon's castle. I've got six barriers, but some of them can be a bit pain, especially the wind one. Because sometimes the turbines do blow off you. So let's take that one first. Oh, I've, I got to do the torches first on here. Okay. And you've got you've got to shoot some stuff. Yeah, I'm I, I'm in the I'm in the horseback archery like I said. I'm gonna try and see if I can get both the hard piece and the biggest quiver. I already missed a shot right there at the beginning. But anyway, all right. So there's really not much to talk about in this episode. We haven't really come up with specific topics. So I'm gonna go ahead and talk about this. In earlier episodes, I stated that I don't have a switch. So, I'm gonna actually mention right now that I am finally gonna get one. So, yay me. Yay! <laughs> I can actually clap because I'm playing the Yeah, and <laughs> I've already got some games planned that I want to get, and I'm sure those of you, I'm sure those of you that are watching already know about some of those games that I want, and, well, there's already one I want to get in particular, many of you know, those of you, some of, those of you that are watching, some of you might, I did not mean to do that, some of you might already know that I'm gonna get Super Smash Brothers when it comes out, I'm very, very excited to get that game, so that's gonna be a lot of fun for starters. Oh, that brings up something that, um, Switch related. Do you know what's happening with the Nintendo Switch Online? Since there's not actually any information to the Switch Smash. Okay, well, yeah, I, 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 did, I did learn this for myself, actually, because the, the online service is going to be quite a thing here, because... Let, let's see. Uh, you're supposed... To, it's all going to start in September, if I remember reading that correctly. How do I say it? You you have to pay 20 units of, of, of the currency from the country you're in for, for the for the 12 month plan, but it'll raise up to 30. It'll go up to 35. You have to pay 35 if you're using more than one account, but you only have to pay 20 if if you're using an account for yourself. So. Well, it's more like you have like the three month, six month, twelve month package for individual accounts, like, similar to how PlayStation Plus works on PlayStation. You 
But Nintendo had this awesome... Well, for example, if you have like eight bonuses on Switch, the family pack's gonna be well worth the money because it's like only 35 or whatever. I mean, the 12 month pack in my country, the UK, is only 18, actually. It's a little bit cheaper than I thought it was gonna be. And since I'm the only one who actually plays it, it's pretty cool. And of course, we get da classic downloads that are enhanced, enhanced NES games that have online gameplay, but what NES games? Where's the Virtual Console? Apparently, that's no longer a thing. But I believe that, yes, the Virtual Console game is going away, but I feel like that the games themselves are going to be um, under like brand names. Because, like, you've already got Neo Geo under the NEC, the ACA. Sega are going to have their classic games come back in uh, the Sega Ages line. And Nintendo have their arcade games in the arcade archives. If the NES and Super Nintendo games are coming through, they're probably going to be the NES and SNES archives. That's my thing. So it's not going to be virtual console, but they're going to have their own separate, you know, battles. Oh, wow, I missed my chance right bloody there. I was 40 points short. And now I'm short on rupees by only two, so I can't try again. Oh, you actually ran out of money? Very much, yeah. Um... What's some easy cash? I'm trying to think. Well, I, well I, I'm not bothered by it though, because there are some rupees inside the these side of. Oh, oh yeah, you can just farm the pots. They have a high tendency to drop money. Oh, actually, if you go back, if you go to the top, break that crate, it's 50 rupees, and I think that respawns. You can just grind money there. Oh, that's a good point, except I don't really bother going for that, that purple rupee. But yeah, that is a good idea. Um, sometimes, I mean, sometimes it would be best to go for that purple rupee, so yeah. Ah. So anyway. One and I remember it was the opposite one. All right. So now. But yeah. So you have to. Oh, sorry. We both start talking. Oh, okay. Well, actually, I think you were gonna continue talking, talking to me about about the switch some more. So. Well, yeah. So you got like those um, NES classics that you're gonna get 20 games for free starting off. That's pretty good of a deal, but at the same time, it pretty much turns your Switch into a portable NES Mini, <laughs> effectively. And, you know, the only worthwhile game on there that isn't even multiplayer is the original Legend of Zelda, probably enough, because I don't think that's the other games is meaty enough. I mean, online Super Mario Brothers, you can possibly do, considering that versus the, the arcade versus edition um, is still only uh, local player only. But, that's also enhanced with a couple of lost level stages, so I'm, I'm not too sure how to feel about that. And this pretty much means that unless we get enhanced ports, we may not be getting GameCube. Which, you know, once again dashes my hopes on getting Star Fox Assault for a good price, but I guess Nintendo just doesn't want our money. Mm. Yeah, okay. Alright, now, um, what else was that? What else were we gonna bring up here? Okay, yeah, so, so yeah, so, how do I say it? Okay, yeah, yeah, I was actually gonna talk about the games I wanted to get for the Switch. Out of the, out of the games I want to get, and I, I mentioned Smash already, Super Smash Brothers. Um, plus we've got the Invitational coming up next month as of this recording, so. Um, but anyway, some of the games I also want to get are Sonic Forces. Sonic Mania Plus, which will have extra characters and exclusive content, or so I believe. Yep. Yeah, okay. Also, 1 2 okay. Switch, ARMS, uh, of course, I don't want to leave out Super Mario Odyssey or Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. But, the only reason I'm getting Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is because of the battle stages. That's it. What happened? The game just chugged it like considerably. Oh, you're lagging. Oh, oh, that sucks. But but anyway, did you hear what I said or what? 
Yeah, so you got Super Mario Odyssey and then the game, my game just is not the first Oh boy. Okay. Yeah, the reason why he hasn't mentioned Breath of the Wild is because he's got it for Wii U. So. Right, uh, I had Breath of the Wild for Wii U. Reason being, I, I, I was actually, I actually wanted to get the, the Switch version to replace the Wii U version. But the problem, is, and and reason being for that is because I wanted to get Super Smash Bros. 4 on the Wii U at, as a download and, and actually selling back the physical copy that, that I have. But then I learned that digital copies of games... Oh boy, I'm having bad aiming and I'm not going to get the biggest quiver this time. But anyway, I was saying uh, downloadable copies of games, digital copies of games, tend to use up more memory on the Wii U than buying the actual CDs. So I went ahead and stuck with the Breath of the Wild CD for the Wii U. All I'm missing is is the DLC for Breath of the Wild, plus I'm missing, excuse me, the DLC that I have left to get for Super Smash Bros. on the Wii U, because all I'm all I'm missing for Smash is the Super Mario Maker stage, plus a few me bundles. That's all I'm missing. I have every other DLC character and stage, so yeah. But 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 the purpose of the subject of this is yeah, I'm I'm sticking with the Wii U version of Breath of the Wild, and when I get the chance, I'll, I'll play the DLCs and, and all that stuff. So. Naruto just became decapitated. Our head was the only thing that was there. That was creepy. Okay. But yeah, um, not only that, but when, going back to what you said about downloads, I mean, obviously there's got to be more memory because it's not external memory storage. Because the plasma cities are, and they're Blu-ray discs. But not only that, but if you download it, a game has a physical copy to begin with, like physical then downloads, like, you know, Breath of the Wild, for example, the downloads tend to be five, well, in my case, five pounds more expensive than the physical copy, which makes no sense, because you'd think that putting the game on a on physical media in a case would cost more just because of manufacturing costs, but not the downloads, which is weird because you would have to buy additional storage in order to download it, because it's quite a huge game. So it just doesn't make sense to me. I don't understand what Nintendo's practice is on that. So. And going back to what you said about your games as well, um, you said May Odyssey, ARMS, I... Did you say Splatoon 2? No, no, I did not say Splatoon 2. I don't, I, I'm not getting that, because I don't like Splatoon. And 1-2 Switch. Yes, 1-2 Switch, that I did say. Yeah, I, I wouldn't recommend that one. Mainly because that it's you're gonna play it for like maybe an hour or two at a party, and then like, that's it. It's just a glorified tech demo that should have came with the box. I do not have the golden gloves. So what am I doing? Wow, that was a massive great fall on my part. But yeah, I wouldn't recommend one to switch just because it's a party game. You're probably gonna play once or twice, and that's it. It's just a glorified tech demo. I will say the ball mini game though is pretty. It actually feels like you got pulled in the way. Don't take that the wrong way. Okay. Oh, well, <laughs> while we're still talking on the subject of Switch, um, I had to I had to go back and re-enter the hideout because I I ran out of rupees again from trying to get the biggest quiver. Maybe I should go for the purple ruby, I don't know, but... Well, once you're up there, you can just, you know, walk in and then grab the... Go, walk out, grab the ruby, walk back in, walk back out, and it should be... Re, should be spawn. Oh, okay, well, anyway, I'm I'm back up to 60, so that's get, that gives me three more attempts. Okay, now, let's see. Um, you know, for an end game minigame, that's a very cheap minigame to play. It's only 20 hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I guess you're right. Okay, 
Um, why do I... Link, can you get on the opponent, please? Why do you keep getting off for no reason when I'm trying to talk to the Scarado lady? Jeez. I don't think you need to be on horseback in order to challenge. Uh, actually, yeah, yeah, yes, yes, you do, because if you don't talk to her while on the, on the opponent, you won't, she won't, you won't be able to actually play the game. So anyway, all right. So I think I pretty much talked about all the games I want to get in a way. Um. So let's go ahead and talk about the controllers now because I'm leaning towards getting the actual uh, Switch Pro controller because I I, I, I want to add an extra pair of Joy Cons because I want to make sure I actually. Oh man, I missed it by 80 points right there. I want to make sure I actually get enough controllers to play enough games for two, three, four, for up to four players, you know? So, like for instance, I would need an extra, I would, yeah, I would need an extra pair of Joy-Cons just so I could play certain games for two to four players that only require, how to say, it? yeah, for games that only support the, the joy cons so there you go and then uh even though the gamecube controller works uh, adapter for the wii u works with the switch i'm considering wanting to get the actual switch pro controller so that i can how do i say it? for games that don't have full functionality of the gamecube controller i could play those games with the switch pro controller be able to, you know, play some of those games in, in particular, so, yeah. Well, not only that, but you don't have a Uh, yes I do, because I've been using, you might have forgotten, cause, but I but I have an actual, I told you various times in between recordings and during your Twitch live streams that I have a game, I have an actual, well, it's a third party, but I have the GameCube controller adapter to, to, to play Super Smash Brothers on the Wii U, so it should work with with the Switch. I should have more than enough, enough or more than enough controllers to play four players in Super Smash Brothers on the Wii, on the Switch, but I, I'm, I'm suggesting getting an extra pair of Joy-Cons and possibly the Switch Pro Controller because re remember, Super Smash Bros. on the Wii U you allowed, you allowed up to seven Wii Remote, combined Wii Remotes and or Pro Controllers uh, t with, with the LEDs and all that. So for instance, the, what I mean by that is, is pl players 5, 6, and 7 would have a second LED light go off to prove that they're the fifth, seventh, or fifth, sixth, seventh, or no, I cannot talk. Fifth, sixth, or seventh player is what I'm trying to say. But yeah. Well, there's a problem with that because since you have two connections for two Joy Cons to be one controller, they the first player will have one LED on both Joy Cons, the second player will have two LEDs on both Joy Cons and stuff like that. Not only that. But you can only have four controllers active at once, so I don't think you're going to have eight-player smash on the uh, Switch. And not only that, but with the GameCube controller, what I was going to get to, regardless if you had the adapter or not, um, as I've demonstrated on a stream, not every game is compatible because you're lacking buttons, and not every game allows you to remap buttons, which should be something that Nintendo should be getting on with. Considering that you have many control options, you should be able to freely customize the controls to your preference. I mean, even emulators as basic as the NES today can't allow you to map controls. It's like, it should be an industry standard. Oh, okay. Not only that, but joy can, you can play ARMS without a pair of joy cards. You can play with just one joy as a controller. You do have options for that. I think that was added in one of the updates. 
So, and Joy-Cons, and as well as the official Switch controller, are really expensive. I mean, the controller I'm using right now is a Power A Plus uh, Switch pad, uh, which is the Zelda one. I talked about this at the very beginning of the project. And not only is it, you know, intended for the Switch, but it lacks um, Rumble, um, NFC, which you can just use the Joy-Con for. Obviously, it's not wireless. But like, it's USB powered, so you can plug it into the PC and use it as And they came in two designs, which is like the Zelda one, which I'm using, the Mario one, and they're official. So that's cool. Oh, oh, okay. Now I've been I've been saying that I've been wanting I've been wanting to get the actual Switch Pro controller, but you you told me in between videos, in fact, you told me on Facebook Messenger that I should get the Hori controllers, because remember, Hori controllers are officially licensed by Nintendo, whereas other third-party controllers are not. So, let me go ahead and ask you. you I already asked you and you told me, but just so our subscribers know, why? Why do you think I should get the Hori Pro controller, or perhaps the controller that you have yourself, instead of the official Pro controller? Why? Well, for one thing, it's like a third to a quarter of the bloody price. Yes, you lose out on wireless, but if you're playing with a controller, you're probably going to have it wired anyway. Um, you don't know, you don't need NFC because you can just use the right Joy-Con, so you can use that for your amiibos. Um, the only thing that you'll probably really lose um, control-wise is the gyro sensor, the movement. That's something I've got a list. But unless you're playing Splatoon or you don't want to chuck Cappy in a certain way in Super Mario Odyssey, you don't really need it. And, yeah, it's just overall cheaper, and that's another person that can play on the system. And since they're official, that's a thing. And plus, the difference between the Power A Plus and the Hori Pad is that the, the one I'm using has interscriptable um, thumb nubs for the sticks. While the Hoi pad has a removable control pad to reveal four buttons underneath, which is pretty much what the uh, Joy Cons have as their control pad. Hey. Okay. All right. So anyway, while while this conversation has been going on, I, I went ahead and collected that purple rupee because that sure took me a while to get it. I kind of got lost, but I. I got the rupee now, so I'm gonna go ahead and try again. You haven't got the quiver yet? No, no, I haven't. Link, can you get on Epona and stop getting off her? Just talk to the Gerudo guard from horseback so we can continue playing this mini game. Alright, well, I'll give you the timer right now. We're at 8 minutes 35. How many um, barriers have you destroyed so far? Why? Oh, I was actually keeping count. I think I've just got the file. Oh, yeah, yeah, the lock, the lock. Did you get the. The quest version of that is even more. Okay, I was gonna say, I was gonna ask, did you get the golden gauntlets yet? I've already got the heart upgrade. I went the wrong way, so I just left. Oh, I've got another chance. If I fail again, I'll have to get 10 more rubies. I didn't collect any more, so... Um... If you want, if you want, just want me to... If you, if you don't want to talk so you can concentrate, Okay. Alright, so while Blue concentrates and tries to get that thing, because he's having a bit of time with you. Um, what I'm going to bring up about is um, that other part of the Joy Cons made by Gora as well. That's a, uh, it, it is a cheap alternative for a Joy Con, so you might think, oh, that new left Joy Con with an actual D pad sounds pretty neat. The problem is, they've taken out one. 
crucial piece to a joy -Con, and that's the wireless itself. Yes, they've taken out Rumble, they, the, the, the left joy -Con doesn't have it, so that's the right joy -Con. Um, but it doesn't, it doesn't have gyro, fair enough, but it's also not wireless, that means this D-pad Joy-Con is portable only. You can't even use it in the Joy-Con ring. So, it's for like portable gaming only, and I feel like that is really stupid. I mean, Bluetooth, well, around here, you can easily get like a low-end Bluetooth adapter for USB slots. <laughs> on, on computer, for like a pound. I don't think it's going to cost them an arm and a leg to pop a Bluetooth receiver out of LEDs for that Joy-Con. I mean, yes, it's a Joy-Con, it's a D-pad, so it's not going to be the traditional four buttons on a Joy-Con for control, but at least you'll still have the functionality on using it as an extra controller while it's not connected, because making it portable only kind of defeats the purpose. The problem is, as far as I'm aware, it's in Australia and Japan only right now, so in Australia it's like or something, which is pretty cheap for, you know, what Joy-Cons normally go for, but it's a little bit ridiculous and not being able to use it wirelessly, because that means that you're just going to pretty much have that as a permanent replacement for your current Joy-Con and that really limits its use, and even if they did put the Bluetooth and that to there, it will be a lot cheaper than buying a normal, like, an official Joy-Con anyway. So, they're not going to lose out, but since they, it's not wireless, I feel like they're going to lose out, despite being the cheapest option available, because it's not that versatile, it's not useful. Did you get it? Oh, okay, okay. Did you get it? I said yes, I did. Oh, well done. So you just need to concentrate. I had a, a uh, control topic in the Oh, sorry. Oh, you you asking me about the about the sliver? No, I didn't get that. What I got what I got was what you were saying. Oh. <laughs> that oh, well, well, I got the quiver now, so yeah. Oh, never mind. <laughs> wow. Timing. Crazy how things work out like that. Did you get it? No, nope. oh, I just did there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Wow. Well, time's running out, and I'm up. I'm about to get ready to do the spirit temple. Yeah, but time's running out. Though. I wasted quite a bit of time on the uh, Mossback Archery, so don't feel too bad. But we do have about three minutes and fifty-five seconds left. I'm assuming that you're editing this video. I'm not gonna say where I am. Oh, ow! Luckily, I'm wearing the right tunic. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Okay, well, because you said that about the right tunic, that means you're now in the lava section. Well, I, I technically I just completed that section. Oh, okay, so you're actually going up the stairs then. No other way to put it but there. Oh, you know what? Actually, to save time, I think uh, I think I'm gonna save warp here, actually. And this might actually be the last save warp of, of the race for me. Ah, wow, I caught him on the backswing of the spear tag. Nice. Yeah, you can freeze the uh, the um, I was about to say this alpha, the alpha, the dinophos. I mean, I'm not going to use the ice arrows anyway, and this is where I normally use them. Oh yeah, fun fact with the ice arrows, did you know that they're super effective against Bongo Bongo? You can freeze his hands and he'll try to punch them. Um, yes I, yes I did, actually, didn't you, oh, never mind, I was going to say, didn't you see me do that before, but, but ne never mind, because I haven't done that temple yet. But, but yeah, I have done it before, I've done it various times, yeah, you can, you can stun one of his hands and he tries to... To, to break the ice with the other hand, but if you if you try to stun one of the hands, as he as he as he tries to break the ice with the other one, you can weaken him with regular arrows instead of having to use fire arrows. Of course, you'd have to use the lens of truth to still consume magic. 
so keep that in mind. Yeah, what I normally do is just, um, I, I, hit, I hit him in the eye, take off the lens of truth so I can quick spin, and that, um, as it hits every frame, you can pretty much stun lock him and probably take him out in one or two rounds. It's what I did in the other channel. It's just a nice technique. Alright. I know I have to I know I have to do the spirit temple, but I kinda wanna get some of these hard pieces out of the way. This is how you cheat that one. Get just the tip. What is this smash? I guess so, because I just smashed him. Or her. They actually grew those in those suits. Which makes sense, actually, considering that they're in Gan's tower and, you know, he is a guru. So, yeah, that actually makes a lot of sense. Why did I equip the wrong items? Right. Oh, I was trying to equip bombs and instead I equipped the Eye of Truth. That's one thing. <sighs> I actually, sound, I actually think that sounds pretty awesome. Oh, that's actually something I wanted to talk about. Uh, uh, we uh, Switch game related. Uh, you didn't get any of the Warriors games, so maybe you can't stuff. Uh, Hyrule Warriors, no, but, or rather no, the, well, actually, I might say no for both of those games. Because if I remember correctly, one of the, the um, that Fates game, whatever, I believe you or it might have been Connor Misa, I don't remember, but one of you, I believe, streamed that before, but. Three, two, one, and time's up. Oh, okay. Okay, I have to actually pause, because if I don't, the, the sky is gonna go by. Because I'm in Hyrule Field, I'm, I was just about to go for some of the heart pieces. I got, I, I got three in this episode. Or, or was it four? Hmm. It was either three or four. I lost track. But anyway, but yeah, to answer your question, that that Fates game, I haven't. I don't plan on getting that, even though you. I would assume I forgot if it was you or Misa, but one of you streamed that recently, and then Hyrule Warriors. No, I'm I'm not getting that because it's it's just. Not my thing. It's part, in a way, it's a spin off the Legend of Zelda series, but it's not part of the traditional series, so. Yeah, understandable. What Warriors isn't for everyone, and the uh, slight raunchiness of uh, Fate Extellas is not for everyone either. Fate Extellas is my games, and Play Chronicles 2 is Merrill's. Okay. We, switch, we swap games because I like Xenoblade 2, but, uh, and he likes Fate, so. It's kind of a nice little um, swap around whenever he's back in the area. But yeah, um, yeah, so that's the end of the, this episode. Next episode's going to be on my channel. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll see you guys next time. All right, so long, everyone. This is Scatling Sean and also Blue Hedgehog Man 17. And we're going to see you guys next time for episode 27 of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time versus Race. Scat Link is very, very close to Ganondorf. There's no way I'm gonna make it to him. I might even, I might, not, I might not even complete the Spirit Temple before then. And at this point, there's no way I'm gonna do the Shadow Temple either. But we'll just have to see how this goes in the end. So anyway, thank you guys for watching, and we're signing out. So long.